Hey guys, this was posted yesterday, and since then I've gotten a ton of questions about it. The unfortunate truth is, I really don't know anything about it for certain. However, we can make a few guesses at what it may be. So first off, let's start with what is pretty certain. I'm almost positive that you'll need to use this exotic consumable in some sort of exotic quest to get this item. You can see that this icon looks extremely similar. Now, as far as what exactly the weapon is, I'm assuming it's the Touch of Malice. We've heard just brief mentions of this exotic by Luke Smith as one of his favorites, but other than that, we haven't gotten any confirmation in one way or another. So could this be it? We really don't know. It may even be this unnamed rocket launcher. Here's what Luke has said about it in the past. Yeah, there, there's a guy out in the shirt, uh, out in the audience right now wearing a shirt that says, Keep Calm and Galhorn. And uh, <laughs> what I'm hoping to see next year is a shirt like this that says, Keep Calm and Touch of Malice. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, the weapon really, uh, Touch of Malice really represents the product of a bunch of people's work. Uh, the, the Sandbox team did an awesome job with it. The, the 3D for it's beautiful. I'm not going to ruin it for anyone, but uh, it's, a, it's a cool journey for players to go on and uh, put this thing together. So I, I'm pretty excited about that. So what do you guys think? Do you like the way it looks? Then there's also this new image, which I thought was pretty neat, and you can see what appears to be a King's Fall Raid sniper on the hunter's back. You can find this image along with the other from the Taken King achievements on xbox.com. And finally, Tefty got to use Fate of All Fools for about four hours last night while streaming, and I wanted to show you guys a few highlights from that. As always, you can watch our complete past broadcasts if you like, and I'll leave a link to the full stream in the description. The Jade Rabbit exotic scout rifle is actually replacing Fate of All Fools. It has nearly identical stats and perks. I highly doubt anyone will be able to get the Fate of All Fools by itself. But since you'll have access to the Jade Rabbit, you'll basically have Fate of All Fools, since it functions in the exact same way. Now, for those of you who like the look of Fate of All Fools, we have the No Time to Explain exotic, which looks almost exactly like that. We don't know too much about that though since Bungie has hidden it in the database. But anyway guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think about all this stuff in the comments down below. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe. Zone B, lost. Enemy captured Zone B. Zone A, neutralized. Zone A, secure. Zone C, lost. Double down. You neutralized Zone B. You captured Zone B. Enemy captured Zone C. <laughs> Heavy ammo inbound. Your legend!
Zone C neutralized. Zone C secure. Total control. Good work. Enemy captured Zone B. Exquisite work. Zone C lost. Zone B neutralized. Enough! This battle was one-sided. Zone B secure. Zone C captured. You control all zones. 